Most people don't know this, but if you take your existing Tana Tough Super Tag, add three simple searches, and arrange them in a specific way, you end up with a Tick Tick style dashboard that's actually more powerful than Tick Tick itself. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this. You get the clean, familiar task views you love, but with the power of connected knowledge that made you switch to Tana in the first place. And don't worry if you've never used TickTick -tick before, I'm about to show you a beautiful way to manage and view your tasks in Tana. So here's what we're gonna cover. Firstly, how to set up your different task views to get that familiar TickTick -tick experience. Number two, inserting your dashboards into your today and week notes so you can get easy access to them. And number three, some easy commands you can easily set up to make managing your tasks fast and easy. And the best part, you'll only need your existing task super tag to make all of this happen. So let's build it. Now, quickly before we jump in, if you don't have time to watch endless YouTube tutorials and just wanna build a high performing digital workspace that works harder than you do, then check out my Tana Fast Track course. It will get you up and running in Tana well, fast. First, you'll learn all the fundamentals in less than one hour. Next, you'll choose from our six core workflow templates that are simply plug and play. There's not 86 super tags to install that you'll never use. You choose what templates you need to customize your workflow. And you also have a TFT community to ask questions and get direct help from me plus a load of other resources. Over 500 people have already taken Fast Track and loved it. So if you want to get on the Fast Track, I'll leave a link in the description below. And let's get into the video. All right, so let's get into building the TickTick -tick dashboard. So you're going to want to go to your home node so that this then shows up in your sidebar. So just if you're anywhere in Tana, just click on this little circle. That's going to get you to home. Okay. Now, as I said, you only need your existing task super tag to make this work. We're going to type in here, tick, tick dashboard, but you might want to call this your task dashboard, whatever you like. Once you've done that, we're just going to zoom right in and we're going to start building. So in tick, tick, you have today, you have next seven days and you have inbox, and then you have all of your areas. So we're going to replicate that with some searches. All right. So the first search that we want to create the today search. So to do that, we're just going to go and type a question mark, then click this button and you will create a search node. What we're going to do here is we're going to add two search queries. So the first one is we want to find all of our tasks. Okay, so we're just going to do tasks, find your task super tag. This is the one I'm going to use. And then we want to, in your task super tag, you'll have a field for date. We want to put that in so that we're finding all of the tasks that are due today. So to add a field, go shift period. Nope this one. Okay. And then you're going to type your date and then find the field that you're using. In this case, for me, I'm using date master. If you add a different date um, field, then it will prompt you to say, this is not the right date field, fix it. And just press that fix it button. And then we're going to type in here for relative date in capital letters. And then in lower caps, we're going to type today. And what you'll see happen down here is you'll see relative date today equals and today's date. Okay. Once I do that, I go run. I don't have any that are due today yet. Okay. And we're going to rename this to today. That's probably the hardest thing that we're going to do in this search. So now we want to create a new search that is for this week. And instead of going through all of that, we're just going to go command K and duplicate. Then we're going to rename this to this week. Okay. And open it up and then click on on this button with the dot, okay, and open the query editor. So all we're going to do here is rather than have today, we're going to type this week and you'll see this change down the bottom, okay? So now it's searching for this week, which is week 17, okay? So run and done, okay? Super easy so far. So now we want to create our inbox, all right? So this is any task that we haven't assigned to a project, you know, anything that's kind of just coming in. So again, we're going to come here and go duplicate. I'm going to rename this to inbox, open it up. And then what you're going to do here, we don't need a date field this time. So we're going to delete that, but you probably have something that represents status. Okay. So for me, I've got task status. Okay. And if I delete this, then I get the options. So for me, my task statuses include incoming, parked, next up, and done. Anything that gets added as a task is always incoming. So I choose that and I know that then that is my, you know, they're all the things that are in my inbox. Okay. So 
So if I run that, if you don't have something like incoming and all of your tasks just come in and don't have a status, then what you're going to do here is type at and not set. Okay. And that means that if the task status is empty, that means that it's in the inbox. All right. And that works very well. All right. So now you've got today, this week and inbox. So now you've got your first three live searches. What we're going to do, we're going to add a divider in here. Okay. Because the next searches that we are going to add in are our area searches. And so this is going to allow you to see tasks by different areas that you have. All right. So these first three are all set up. Now we're going to create another one. So we're going to go to inbox and we're going to go duplicate and just drag this down here. And this one I'm going to call personal. Okay. If I open this up and I go to the search options and open query editor here, I'm going to remove this. Okay. I'm going to just type area. Okay. So we're looking for area in task. And then you can see I've got Ev Chapman work and personal. So here I'm going personal. All right. And I'm going to go run once. Now I don't have anything set up here yet. And if I go done, that's going to find all the tasks that I have where the area is personal. All right. I'm going to do the same for work. So we're going to just come here and duplicate it, rename this work, open it up, go to search options and work. Now you can set up as many of these as you want for the different areas that you have. Okay. So once you've done that, you have essentially built your dashboard. And all we have to do to make it look like a proper dashboard is come up to the name Tick Tick Dashboard, go Command K, and we want to view this a side menu. And so you can see straight away that now you get this really nice menu at the side where you can flick between all of these different things. And this creates a really, really nice dashboard like experience that you would get in Tick Tick. And if you want to see where this is, all you have to do is open up your workspace. You can see it here. Now, if you do want to, you can pin this to your sidebar so you can see it all the time. All you have to do is just drag this in here to pinned and you've got your dashboard all set up. Now, if you want to add these searches for today and this week into your day page, you can easily do that. All you have to do is just go to today and just copy it. So uh, Command C or Control C, go over to your today page, come to your day super tag and go configure, go to your advanced options, come down to your related content. And what you want to do here is just paste it in here so you can see today. If we go back to our today page, you can see that now you have a related content section, which is today. And that is basically just mirroring anything you see on the tick tick dashboard. You can do exactly the same for the week search, or if you want to have your inbox on the day page, exactly the same process. Now, I also promise you, I'll show you a couple of commands that can make managing your tasks really easy. So the first one is I want to show you a command that basically adds a task to today. All right. So when you do, do you want to configure your task to be tagged? So come here and go configure. All right, then when you're in your task super tag, just go AI and commands. And then we want to add this. I'm going to add it to the compact menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu that has all of these commands in it. So I'm just going to type plus and then rather than convert it to a command, I'm going to go command K and I'm going to type group and I'm going to convert it to a group. What that means is you can open this up now and you'll see kind of a box around there and you can add different commands in here. So they don't come up as individual buttons, but they'll come up as one button and we can choose. So this first command is we want to add something that is due today. So we're going to go and type today and we're going to convert this to a command. What we're going to do here is we are going to set a relative date. So we want that command module. So go here, go at and set relative date. Sorry, just type relative date, insert. All right, open this up. What we're going to do is all you have to type here is today. Okay, then we want to add a new field. So put your cursor anywhere in relative date string and go uh, new field. So shift period. And then we want to type in here target node. And the target node is going to be the field where you want this to add. So come up here to your task, go up to your content template and find the date field. Okay. So put your cursor anywhere in date, whatever your date field is called and go command C. Then scroll all the way back down. And then in target node, we're going to paste that in. Okay. So we don't need to worry about this drop down. 
We're just going to paste that. And what that will do is if a task is due today, you can click on that and it's going to add today's date into that date field. All right. So if we're in our inbox now, you can see that I could come here and I could say today. All right. And that will be added to today. All right. Now you can recreate this command for tomorrow. You can recreate this command for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, any day that you want. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is go duplicate. All right. Change this. So if you wanted this to be Monday, open this up and all you have to do is say Monday. All right. It really is that easy to create these. And I love these little commands because they just make managing my tasks so easy. So if I come back here and I said, uh, this one is due Monday. Okay. If I open it up, you can see it's due Monday this Monday coming. If I go this week, we can see it in here. So it's a really great way to just quickly arrange everything. Now, the other commands menu that you might also want to have is a, a command that assigns it to one of your areas. So to do that, all you want to do is come in here. Okay. You might want to have a little divider. Okay. This one we're going to call personal. We're going to convert it to a command and we're not going to insert a relative date. Instead, on this one, we're going to set a field. Okay, set field values is what we want. Open this up. Okay, the fields to set. Now, this is where we've got our area field in our task. So just type a new field and go area. Okay, we're, t we're looking for area in task. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to say personal. All right. Now, if I close that, that's all I have to do. I close it up. Okay, so if I come here and I go personal, you can see the area gets added and then I come in here and it's there. So it's a really simple way to be able to add dates and then also add your area. The same applies for if you're here in inbox and you would like to move it uh, to a specific task status. Okay, so if I wanted to move this from incoming to park to say like, yes, that's done, then all I would do is duplicate this again. Okay. And then just go um, part or in progress, whichever it is. Rather than area here, we want to go status and then we're going to go parked. All right. And so what this does is it creates a really simple way when you're in your inbox. So let's say we've got a brand new task, right? So you can easily from here, right? This is going to be in our inbox. You can easily come here. You can say this is due Monday. Add that in. This is a personal task. And now it's parked. Okay. And what that will mean is it goes out of your inbox. It's in this week. It's also in personal. And so it's ready to be worked on whenever you need. So you can create as many of those different commands as you like. And the reason I like to have them in this menu is you really can have so many in there without t having too much clutter. Now, if you wanted to group some of these together, you could easily do that. Okay. So you can have groups within groups here. So you could have a, a schedule group. So just type schedule and then command K. You want to convert it to a group. Open that one up and then just put your schedules in there. Okay. You could then create one that is areas. Okay. Command K, convert it to a group. Okay. And then you've got your area. And then you could have another one, which is then status, convert it to a group and then put that in. Then you don't really need these dividers and it's actually then feels really nice. And so then when you're here, it's actually really nice and organized. And if TikTok isn't your thing, but you miss Sunsama daily planning, then check out my video on how to replicate the Sunsama daily planning routine. And don't forget, if you want to build a smart digital workspace that works harder than you do, you should check out my Tana Fast Track course. And if you want more Tana content like this in your feed, like and subscribe to the channel.